Hello, Comic-Con! Is anyone out there excited for Batman vs. Superman 2? I didn't think so. I'm happy you've all decided to be here in this loud, smelly ballroom, which, by the way, has never been used for dancing. My family is out and about, Bart's at the DC booth touching the Batmobile, because that's what they want, kids. <laughs> oh, we're gonna hear about that on the car ride home. And here comes Maggie now! Take three hours to change your diaper. Today, you'll all be seeing an exclusive sneak preview of the 600th episode of The Simpsons. Or the 1,000th, if you count Family Guy. Enjoy the show! Not suitable for children under 16. If anyone has questions, please come up. What inspired you to create the Simpsons character in yellow skin color in the first place? Before The Simpsons, I was a print cartoonist. I only drew in black and white. When it came time to color The Simpsons, uh, we, we were stumped. And uh, one of The Simpsons animators, Georgie Pelusi, <laughs> who uh, came up with the idea of painting them yellow. Also, Fox got a great deal on yellow paint that year. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if there's going to be another Simpson movie. Do you guys want another one? Yeah! We talk about it, uh, but it's, uh, you know, if, if we do it, we only want to do it if it's going to be really good. And um, we would never, you know, do it just like to cash in. So if it comes out, it's because we believe in it. My question is one of my favorite characters is Sideshow Bob. So I'm always interested in on the inspiration behind him. It's great episodes. Kelsey Grammer does the voice. And uh, yeah, any insight on the character? Well, it was originally in Krusty Gets Busted. And the whole idea was that he was going to be smarter than Krusty. And that when he took over the show, it was a much better show. So Kelsey seemed like the perfect voice to do it. And, um, uh, you know, it was a typical thing where I think it was a one shot and he was so great that we just keep bringing him back again and again. And he's just always a wonderful guy to work with. What guest star that you have not featured yet would you like to do? I wish we had gotten Neil Armstrong to do the show. He, he would have been a great one. Um, we've, we've tried to get a president and we've never gotten one. Um, the only response we ever got was Ronald Reagan uh, signed a nice letter to us saying, you know, I appreciate what you do, but uh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Eric Idle just came in the room and said he'd like to be on the show. And two years later, we had a documentary filmmaker. We thought, oh, that'd be a great part for him. And um, so there's like a list in our heads. But, you know, you got to wait for the right part. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you next Thank year. You. Bye, you guys. <laughs>